Hey y'all, how are y'all doing today? This is Gabrielle Ether and welcome to my channel, Awake the Wisdom Within. Okay, so y'all, this video is going to be about basically how to cure the coronavirus with crystals. <laughs> so, I bet y'all are like, yeah, right. Some of y'all, some of y'all like, yeah, right, or what's going on here? I think I'm going to name the video, like, how to cure yourself from the coronavirus naturally. So, I put that in the title. That's kind of sort of clickbait, okay? Clickbait, but in a way, it's kind of sort of right. So, I got to use this red jasper over here. So, let's put this in the front because you can't hardly see it. So, but the thing is... The coronavirus, when people say that they have or think that they have it, the only thing they that they really have is like a flu, the flu or the, or or a cold. So, um, I intended to make this video a little while back when it was actually flu season when people were actually getting sick, you know. But now there's not gonna be a there's gonna still probably be a lot of fake cases reported and all that, even though it's like 80, 90 degrees outside and things should have died. But um, <laughs> but, um they're going to still be a lot of fake uh, um, reports and numbers, fake numbers putting out there. And they're going to still be a lot of people who go and get tested because they just um, don't know that, you know, it's actually hot enough for this thing to, to not still be going on the way they say that it is. But y'all already know how I believe on this channel, so... If you don't believe how I believe, hey, that is up to you. Um, if you don't know how to, how I believe, I've made plenty of videos on this. This stuff is just not real, okay? It's just not. There is something called the coronavirus, and it's just not a threat like they say it is. And the coronavirus is not actually what's making people sick. The coronavirus is not what's going on right now. If you happen to get sick, you're getting a regular cold. You're getting, a, you're getting like a regular flu. Um if you do happen to get sick so don't go and get tested i promise you if you do those things the things that i say right now then you're i mean like or just treat yourself how you usually treat yourself with the with the flu or a cold you'll be like hey okay you'll be all right okay and um <laughs> and what's really making people sick is this 5g um is the it's the uh, 5G radiation, and it's not even a lot of 5G radiation that's going on right now, but they did have to kind of, like, clear their butts since some 5G, you know, towers were making people sick. With that being said, that's that, and I'm going to show you guys, um, I think the video is going to be called, like, How to Heal Yourself Make Naturally. Sure Make sure I watch that. Your mm -hmm. s'mores? Y'all. <laughs> Okay, so I had to talk to my daughter for a minute. Yeah, I'm going to put all these crystals down. I just felt like, um, since a lot of you guys are probably not going to get sick anymore, the video is still useful because we do still get sick. We still get colds, and this is like sinus time, you know. Um, and I'm going to put every crystal that I mentioned in the description um, box if you guys are, are like, you know, um, really interested so um i just felt like a lot of people did not know that crystals can be very useful useful when it comes to the cold you know to a cold so um first crystal some of these crystals i have on here y'all i got them all mentioned here and some you can't really see them some of these crystals i may have up here i may not have here and i i do personally own all of them maybe i don't own like two like the first one jade let's get started <laughs> jade i don't have a jade so um i just actually ordered one from a friend i ordered like a jade bracelet and yeah i don't have a jade but you guys jade number one it's an um it's it's an moon oh my gosh immune system booster so we probably didn't know that in jade also contains chi chi if you guys don't know you guys probably are familiar with chi is you know chi is your life force it's the life force energy so you know in case you're feeling lethargic you know kind of um slowful kind of lazy kind of just um you know how you feel when you get a cold and, and things like that jade is great for that and jade you know like i say it's an um, immune system booster so we also have fluoride i'm going to show y'all fluoride 
Okay, so I have some yellow fluorite right here. Now, I heard specifically, it's like a rough piece. I love this. So, yeah, this is not out on my videos a lot. I don't put all the stones. Some of these stones are the stones that are always out on my videos, okay? So, I'm not going to even talk about all of them. Some of them are just already sitting there. Oh, it's so heavy, y'all. But um, this is a fluorite. I heard specifically the yellow and green kind, though. It's the one that's good for... um for coals but i just have the yellow one i made a mistake and stopped my video but i just wanted to show you guys fluorite just in case you do want to just see i have this fluorite right here on my wrist that top one is fluorite this big the big uh piece right there <laughs> is fluorite okay so it's yellow fluorite though but um just in case you guys do have some fluoride and you want to see that if it works or not i don't know i have not personally used fluoride this is just suggestions and you can try i'll tell you guys the ones that i personally use though the next is moss agate i have more moss agate than this but i don't know where it's at but this is moss agate here and um i did use this i used this on my daughter one time and um, what is it good for? It's a good boost for the immune system also. Oh, moss agate, you guys, is good for the thymus gland. And you know the thymus gland is what produces immune system cells, okay? So that's why it's a good immune system booster. What I heard is you can take this, um, I heard you can take this. Y'all, it's time for my nails to be done again. So <laughs> I heard you can take the um, moss agate and go like, clockwise around your thymus gland and that should activate it okay um let's see what i have next here i have botswana agate oh my gosh i have one at, at um in my hometown alabama and i tell y'all all the time i have like a lot of my crystals there and i haven't got them sent to me yet so um yeah botswana agate Oh, I wish I had my boss want to egg it with me, but um, helps build resistance to disease. Okay, so that's what that does. So um, if you're um, so that can actually you know pre this that's actually like you know preventative. And then we have bloodstone. Okay, this is bloodstone. I have another one in Alabama, y'all. I wish I can get my stuff here. Bloodstone usually looks like this, like greenish with like some red in it. Okay. And bloodstone, what it does is, um, y'all, if I'm just showing y'all like these crystals right here, any one of them you want to know is exactly what it is, just um, come in the comment section below and I'll let you know. Bloodstone helps stimulate the bone marrow. Cool. Okay. And, um, it helps strengthen the blood and helps strengthen the immune system. Okay. So, um, yeah. This would be good for if you're really sick. You know, it's going to get uh, a lot of toxic things out of you guys. I used to use, I have a, um, one of these like in an egg form. And if you guys are familiar with um, Yoni eggs, I used to use it for that. So, um, it's very good to like pull toxins out of your body. So, that bloodstone. Okay, and then we have lapis lazuli. You know, lapis lazuli is good for the throat chakra. This is what I use for a pendulum. Oh, I have a rough piece. Let me see if I can show you guys that. Hold on. Okay, y'all. This is my rough piece that I have. I wear this pretty much all the time. So, it's lapis lazuli. If you are looking for some lapis lazuli and you see a rough piece, let me see if you can focus looks like this and I wear this all the time so lapis lazuli is good for the throat chakra one reason why I is it focusing no it's not one reason why I wear it all the time don't get it confused with sodalite I think I have sodalite down on the list too because lapis lazuli usually have like gold specks in it which is actually pyrite the gold specks that you'll see in lapis lazuli and yeah it's good for your throat chakra okay so if you in you know if you have a sore throat it can soothe your sore throat your sore throat and yeah that's good for lapis lazuli hey what's next on my list is actually sodalite <laughs> So 
so I thought about waiting to do this video till I got some of my crystals sent to me. And then I'm like, well, I don't know. The coronavirus thing it might even be over. People probably won't be talking about it as much. I don't know. But um, that don't even really matter because it's really all about sickness. So I can have every single stone to show you guys. But you can simply go Google them. So the light looks very sim similar to to lapis lazuli i thought this was one here i don't think this is so light i really don't know what this is this is actually a dyed stone and it's just there it might actually be lapis lazuli but it looks a lot like lapis lazuli so um if you guys are looking for soda light it just don't have the gold specks in it it looks a lot like lapis lazuli soda light um yeah i miss my soda light i used to work with it a lot and it's in alabama so soda light is good for head sinus and you know yes it would be good for head sinuses because um soda light is good for your crown chakra and it's good for thinking and processing your thoughts and things like that hematite now i don't own a hematite here and i don't own a hematite in alabama one reason why i don't own a hematite because i'm trying to lose weight and it just pulls your it pulls everything down so that's why i don't own a hematite yet but i would love to have a hematite because um of the different properties it have so um i'm definitely going to get a hematite though y'all definitely going to get a hematite but um what does it say that a hematite is good for oh a hematite and pyrite is good for fever i got them on the same line so this is a pyrite this is a pyrite, good for fevers. I did put this on my daughter's pillow one night. Hey, she was, her fever was over the next day. Like, um, her fever was done the next day. I remember my daughter used to suffer from fevers. Like, they would last for a long time whenever she would get a fever. And since I started doing the natural stuff, they're always gone, like, the next day. And I also, what you can also do, you guys, is use essential oils. I put lime on the bottom of her feet. And I put uh, peppermint on her forehead. I also use, uh, what's it called? eucalyptus and i just rubbed it all over her body because i heard it was good for fevers and it's usually gone the next day okay so you can use that also i forgot to bring my citrus oils down here because i know that i wanted to really focus on crystals but i know that i'll probably be talking about essential oils also so i forgot to bring them but um then we have a malachite i have a malachite i actually just bought one <laughs> y'all i wish i had all these here malachite it's green okay but i don't have one here it's in alabama okay so what is malachite good for a lot of you guys probably have malachite though it's one of the most more popular ones it's good for your chest okay for chest congestion that's what malachite is good for so we have red jasper and um i got these two together red jasper and carnelian so i don't have a carnelian here I do have a red jasper though. It's red jasper. And it just says that it's good for the immune system. It's a good immune system booster. So another preventative one. Keep you from getting sick. Carry red jasper or a carnelian around with you. Carnelian, they're like uh uh reddish, um, orangish, uh yellow, yellowish. Um I might have a carnelian somewhere around here. So um Chrysocola. Uh, do I have a Chrysocola? I don't think I have a Chrysocola. It's good for chest congestion also, it says. Chrysocola, though, um, I, I think it's bluish. I don't, I, uh, or turquoise looking, I think. I don't know. But, um, um, I definitely have seen Chrysocola before. I am familiar with it, and I don't think I have one. But, um, it's, um... I don't think I have one period, but it's good for your chest, chest congestion. So, selenite and satin spar, it clears your energy, okay? Now, one thing, this is what I want to talk to you guys about. This is uh, satin spar. See this? It's very popular. It's called satin spar. People call it selenite. This is not a selenite. Uh, let me show you orange satin spar, okay? satin spar see these these are satin spar it looks white here but it's definitely orange 
set and spar. So let me show y'all. Set and spar, okay? People call these selenites. These are set and spar. The most common ones, okay? They're good because they clear energy. So anytime you're sick, you just rub this all up or down yourself. I know because I do this all the time. I use this for my um I use this for my uh, before I do readings, so if you're sick or feeling any type of way, satin spar or selenite is good for that. Now, let me show you guys selenite. This is selenite. It pretty much has the same properties as satin spar, but it's, it's actually rare, okay? People think selenite is not rare because these are everywhere, but these are more popular than these. These are more rare, okay? And then they cost more this is more like a, a lower quality of this okay they have the same property so um selenite this is actual selenite you can see through it okay so that is selenite it clears your energy it clears you period it's very good i work with it so much y'all very good protection stone it's the stone of the angels they say so let's see what else i got here Okay, y'all, I want to give y'all an example of Carnelian because um, I just saw a message that my friend just sent me because I was asking her a while back and she um, just got back to me were these Carnelians and she said, yeah, they look like Carnelians. She said, she said they really look like um, agates, but dyed Carnelians. These are definitely dyed, but uh, she's like, yeah, she thinks they are Carnelians. So, but the thing is, they do look very similar to this. Um, oh my gosh, not carnelian, but citrine. <laughs> Let me see. Am I saying it right? Yes. She said heat treat us. Not carnelian. Oh my gosh, not carnelian, but citrine. Okay. So, um, let me see. Is this citrine that's on my list or carnelian? Which one is on my, my list? Carnelian is the one that's on my list. Okay. Not citrine. Is citrine even on my list? Okay, so ignore this because citrine isn't even on my list. Maybe it needs to be because I had a very pretty citrine and I gave it away to someone. And um, citrine is such, it's a good stone for abundance, okay? Um, money, that's all I know. And it's that stone and I got a video talking about the sun. Y'all might need to watch that. And that um, stone works with the sun very well. So if it works with the sun very well, then it tells me, even though it's yellow, then it tells me it will work with the third eye very good also, okay? So, and, um, and your, uh... Your, your yellow chakra. Which one is that? Um, solar plexus, I think. It's a chakra that's yellow. Or the other one. I don't know. So, what's next, y'all? We have um, a popolite. I think that's how you say it. A popolite. That is this. So, I saw that this song did so much. I went and bought me one. When I was looking, researching this stuff, like, uh, and I love it. It's so pretty. It's a apophyllite. I think that's how you say it. And let me tell you guys what a apophyllite does. I like to sit crystals on top of this or around, um, selenite or, um, or a satin spar because they actually charge this other crystals, a apophyllite. It's the stone of the fairies, and I've been working a lot with fairies here lately, and um, it's good for sinuses and head colds, okay? That makes sense, because since it's white, then anything white is good for the crown chakra, and crown chakra is above your head, okay? So, um, that's the Pophilite, and then we have the Herkimer Diamond, and this is the only thing that I have for Herkimer Diamond, you guys. It's the ring that I bought, and the little white pieces there. Those are Herkimer diamonds. I forgot what the other dark pieces are. But that is the Herkimer diamond. And um, that's the only thing that I have with the Herkimer diamond in there. But I love, love this ring. And let's see what the Herkimer diamond is, does, y'all. Okay, it's a immune system booster. And it helps with pain. Anytime you're in pain. So, 
And I included on here Ocho Geos because Geos are good for pain. I know because I've experienced this myself. Pyrite is good for pain. I experienced it myself, okay? Um, these are Geos. See? Geos. Let me see. Get all my little Geos. I love them so much. I have Geos everywhere. If you got some cracked Geos somewhere around here, Geo. These are my geodes, y'all. I just love them so much. They're my favorite. Where's my favorite geoid? Where you are? Where you at, girl? Here she go. This is my favorite one. So freaking powerful. They're very good protection stones, y'all. And that's all for my video. If y'all got agates, you know, it's the same thing. She don't know what she's saying. Y'all don't pay her no attention. She's four. <laughs> It's the same thing as a geo. So yeah, and this is real agates are good for just balancing and clarity also. So if you get sick, y'all, that's what you can use. These are certain things that you can use. You know, if y'all got any questions about any crystals that I have up here that I didn't name, just because some of my crystals are just always up here, then um let me know. And if you want me to do a separate video um about a lot of other crystals that I have that I don't show you guys let me know and i hope that did help you guys out i do have like i said with the crystals that i did name majority of them i actually have experience with them and i actually use them for myself and so they do work that's all y'all continue to come grow with me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe bye